Hey folks, how's it going? It's Robert here. I'm going to do a couple of videos today. Um, one of them is going to be uh, making Kahlua and with uh, store-bought alcohol that's how to double your volume. Kahlua is pretty expensive around here. It's like $45 for a, for a 40 ouncer. Uh, I'm going to show you a way to make it at home. Um, it's pretty good. It compares right on with the store-bought stuff. Folks, what you're going to need for this and because it's just the way I roll. I'm going to be doing this on an alcohol stove. Um, just to show you that it can be done on an alcohol stove. So you guys stick with me and I'll show you what's going on. What I have is two pints of Absolute Vodka. So we'll show you how to make it. And uh, once it's done, the stuff will still be 18 to 20% same as the store bought and stuff because uh, what you're going to do is it'll be a half and half mixture roughly so we'll show you the recipe and, uh, and how it's done okay so this is what you need right usually I make this in uh, um, five 40 ounce batches right so that's that's two and a half quarts of uh, or two and a half 40 ounces of uh, alcohol and two and a half 40 ounces of uh, of uh, Kahlua base so this is your recipe for the Kahlua this is for 140 ounce so it's sugar 235 milliliters one cup um, coffee is 40 milliliters a little less than one fourth of a cup and vanilla is 15 milliliters of vanilla that's like one tablespoon and water is 425 milliliters um, one and three fourth cups of water okay so I got all my stuff laid out there's my water of course, I'm going to do this on an alcohol stove too. So I got my my sugar, my coffee. So I'm just waiting for the stove to blossom to let the water boil. I also have a glass container to mix it all in. Now you can use metal, um, plastic, whatever. I like Pyrex. That's what I'm using because that's what I got. So what we're going to do is we'll add the sugar and stuff first. Actually, we'll let it boil. We'll probably add the coffee first. My carved spatula I'm going to use to stir it with. We'll let that come to a boil. Uh, your alcohol should be chilled. Because what happens when you put it in, if you put it in and it's hot, it makes the mixture too hot. You really should let it cool. You should let the base cool before you uh, put your alcohol in. But if you use really chilled and cold alcohol right out of the freezer, it don't make no difference. Um, you can put it in whenever you want to. Well, that's hot enough now to put your uh, sugar and stuff in, so I'm going to do that. You got to be careful when boiling this that it doesn't boil over, especially once you put your coffee in. So have something with high sides on it. Um, I boil mine because I like the way that when you boil it, you can just do it with hot water right out of the kettle if you want to. Um, I like to boil mine because it causes your base to be a bit thicker. I'm also going to put my coffee in now. Get all of the excess off. Now. Plus it also kills any uh, bacteria or anything that's in the base. So that way when you bottle it, or if you decide to leave it, it'll last a lot longer. Um, you can put it in glass, you can put it in, uh, it's got a really high sugar content, so it doesn't really, you can store it in a cool place underneath the cupboard. Um, it's good for usually quite a while, a couple of weeks anyway. If you store it in the fridge, um, it's good for, you know, a couple of months like that in the fridge, eh? So we'll let that boil up. And that'll thicken up, thicken up your uh, your base. Like I said, there it is. It's starting to boil now. So you got to be careful it doesn't boil over. See how it's rising up? you got to be careful of that. When you do that, take it off the heat. Or stir it. Stirring it will do the same thing. Keeps the... Keeps it from... Oh, no, that's still going to boil over. Got to be careful with it. Careful with it when it's boiling. I'm going to need two hands to do this.
That should make it thick enough. Now me, I like to leave mine until the last. I'm going to heat my Pyrex up. Pour this right in. And then, set your stove off to one side. Dose the flames. Then you just pour your alcohol in. I'm going to do it. Dump the vanilla extract in. And I emptied in the two bottles absolute bottle um, now what I like to do when I put it into a bottle I like to uh, run it through a strainer so I'm gonna get a pop bottle and I'll be right back so here's the pop bottle There you are, 40 ounce of homemade Kahlua. So, there's that. You put it in the freezer. Some people too, make it a little weaker. Um, but there it is, a bottle of uh, homemade Kahlua. Put it in the freezer and chill it. Uh, once it's chilled, it's really, really good. So there you are, a little bit of milk, some ice cubes, and uh, homemade Kahlua, and you're good to go.